guys, I'm back for another try at these Larimar coasters. I just posted a video, uh, I think it was yesterday, of the blue ones that I did that came out beautiful. So now I'm going to try another color. However, because I like the backs of those almost better than the fronts of them, I changed my mold to this geode mold instead of the one with the little edge, which was this one is the one I did it in. So you can only use this side for the top. And I really like the back, so I want them to be reversible. So I'm going to try them in this mold instead. So I mixed up six ounces of my thin resin, two to one ratio. And I have um, about one and a half ounces here I'm going to do in the white. Now, one thing I did, I want to change from the blue one to this one is I want to do less white. So I'm going to mix less white in here. I would have liked to see more of the blue and the black through those. So I'm going to make this more of a transparent white than I did in that one. Like that. That would probably be perfect, I hope. This is something I'm going to play around with. Like this is a new technique for me. So I'm learning along with all of you. So I think that would be good. And then I'm going to do about one ounce of black. And I don't really want this too dark. And the only reason is I'm going to be using purple this time. I haven't done anything in purple, not in a video anyway. And I'm afraid if the black is too black, you're not going to see the purple through it. So this is, that's not quite black enough. Another experiment. So the first one worked out well. I can tell you, and I will show you uh, the outcome. I tried this with a one-to-one -one ratio resin yesterday, and it did not work. It was an epic fail. I will show you those a little bit later. When I'm done pouring these, I will show you what happened to those ones. So you cannot use a medium or high viscosity resin for this technique. You must use a low viscosity, which is a like a deep pour resin. See how watery that is? That's the way it's got to be. All right, and now I'm going to do my purple. This is opaque uh, purple, but I'm just going to put a couple drops to keep it transparent. I will link everything below. I will even link the video that I learned this from, from T and Art below, so you can watch her way of doing it. I will link my first video with the blue ones that worked below if you want to see that. But I'm just trying to just keep these transparent this time. I think in my blue one, I might have used just too much white. And the colors looked like they were trying so hard to come through, but I just put a little bit too much white in. But I do want enough purple that you're going to see it next to the black. So I don't know. I don't know if this will work. We're going to try it anyway. That looks probably good. I will link everything I'm using in the in the comments below. Not the comments, but you know, the description. And we're going to do it exactly the same way. Like I said, a different mold and a little less pigment. And then I will put some foil in the center as well. I think I just poured over a piece of glitter. Darn it. I thought I cleaned them. All right, so I'm just going to spread this to the edge. I'm anxious to see how it does in this in this mold. If I can do this several times um, successfully, I would love to see this in a tray. But I'm not going to do that until I can get this down a couple of times.
Okay, now that the white's in, we're going to do the black. Now, when you use this thin resin, it takes two days to cure. That's the only downside. Okay, so it's just the same as the last video. I'm going to do this along the edge. I hope I have enough. And then this one I'm going to do in the middle. Okay. And now the purple. Man, I hope we could see the purple. Same thing. Right around the black. And this one in the middle. Trying to keep them even, even though they're just testers. I'm not going to really do anything with them. Now I'm going to heat gun them and get some of these bubbles out. Okay, now I'm going to pour some clear in the center of both of them. The only thing different is the way we pour the color. Everything else is the same. Remember to save some of this clear for your foil if you're going to put foil in. See, I have a little left. Now I wanted to show you the foils. I've got all these colors to choose from. They're really pretty. I know you can't really see them. But um, I will link these below. I can't remember where I got them, but I'll figure it out by the time I get this video going. So I was looking for a purple in there and I couldn't find one close enough. So I'm just going to use this silver one and stick this in there. And most of it's now on the side. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get it off. You could put anything you want. Maybe like some mirror chips or some stones of some sort little crystals but I'm going to use this because I want to paint the edges silver I think on this one and I think silver would be very pretty with the purple and the black I'm just gonna get a little bit on the inside not too much I'll have enough to make extra magnets, guys. Imagine that. <laughs> All right. We're just going to heat gun this one more time. And it will move a lot in the first five minutes. I think I'm going to spray it with alcohol, too. So I will show you a picture of this in about five minutes. All right. It's the next day, guys. It's my favorite day. It's unmolding day. However, before I show you the outcome, I'm going to show you what not to do. And I'm not going to show the whole video on this because I'm just going to show you the end result. These two were my one-to-one -one medium viscosity resin. Now, I thought looking at the tops, they were going to come out fine. And then when I unmolded them, 
They were a complete fail. So I do not recommend using one-to-one -one resin unless you plan on just using the tops of these coasters. So that was those. This was my extra resin. The black, the purple, and the blue. A little bit of silver leaf left. That was that. And now to the main event. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is the one that we poured around the edges. Oh, look at that. Isn't that top amazing? I mean, like, if the bottom side is terrible, I don't even care. Because I like this side, too. So let, these are still bendy. It's not been two days, but I can't wait. You know I can't wait. I can never wait. Okay. Ready? Oh, wow. I'm not happy about the silver leaf, but can you see that? It's still super cool. I'm not getting a lot of purple either. So I think if I do this again, I'm going to go one drop of white. This was two drops of white. But regardless, I'm going to top coat both sides. And then I'm going to do the edge in silver. Okay, next one. Ready? This is the one I puddled in the middle. Isn't that amazing? I love this side. I absolutely love this side. So I don't even care what the other side looks like. Because I love this side. At least you can see the purple on this side. Oh, cool. It's working. It's not as beautiful as the ones I saw on TN Art. She's got it to a science. I still have to figure out my ratios, but I'm pretty happy with this side. So I'm just going to go and get my silver pen and do a trim and see how that looks. <laughs> going to put a top coat on these. Um, I'll, I'm actually going to do a top coat and a bottom coat, but I'm not going to put them both on camera. So I will show you how I do the top coat. I mixed up two ounces of my normal one-to-one -one ratio resin. This way it will cure overnight and I'm just going to pour it in the center. And let me get my other tool out. And don't over pour like I just did. These are also still bendy. Like I said, I did not let these cure for two days because I couldn't wait. So I'm just going to spread this to the edge and the tension should hold it from going over. Now I do like to coat it after the paint pen has been put on just because then the pen won't wear off as you use them. I'm going to put another jar underneath this side just to make it stay even. Oops, wrong side. And I'm just going to pull it to the edge.
like that and let it cure overnight. That's been about a uh, little over 24 hours since I've poured the purple, the deep resin, or the deep pour resin. So hopefully in another 24 hours, it will be completely done. All right. Just want to get some of this. I don't want it going over the edge while I'm not looking. So I'm actually going to take a little bit off. And this is how I get just a little bit off. Not much, just a little bit. Because I don't want it going over the edge. Because I didn't prepare the bottoms. Generally, you should, I like to use liquid latex. That way you don't have to sand anything down if it did go over the edge. But I'm pretty good at doming. As long as I don't pour as fast as I did pour this one. And you can torch these because now there's no mold. And then I will do the same thing to this one. I just won't put as much on. So two ounces was too much. So you only needed um, probably about a half ounce per, um, per coaster. So now I have extra to make freebies. So I do want to let you know I have decided instead of me keeping all these things that I've been making, I am going to offer my demos to you guys if you want them pretty much for cost plus shipping. So like these coasters, if you want them, just uh, comment or uh, I will leave my email or actually just comment. If you're interested in them to me, shipping them to you, just comment and then I will give you my email and we can go from there. But basically I'm just wanting cost back. I don't want any profit and, and then the shipping of course, and then you can have some of my freebies so there will be free things that i will include in the packages if you want these so this set of coasters if you want them i think i have about uh ten dollars into each one of resin and materials so if you want the set of these two it would be twenty dollars plus the shipping now today i don't know how long this video will be up Today is April 14th, 2023, so if you're watching this two years later, I probably don't have them anymore, but if you're pretty close to when I release it, just let me know if you want them. They might go with your house or whatever. You might want them for a gift, so I will let you know in all my videos what the cost of my materials are. I don't know what the cost of shipping is. I haven't done the research, but I'm not gonna get a profit off of that either. I'm not looking to make a profit. I'm just uh, looking to give, it, give these out to you guys, whoever wants them. And then I can keep making them and pay for some of these materials that I continually go through. So yeah, if you want them, let me know. I'll get you my email and we can go from there. Like I said, um, all these little extras that I make, some of those will be thrown in, maybe some glitters, um, maybe some, some other goodies that I might just surprise you with in that care package. All right, so I'm just gonna torch those, get all the bubbles out. So if you did want these, they would obviously be coated on this side. I will coat the other sides as well. So when you get them, they will be top coated and bottom coated. You will be able to use both sides. And uh, thank you guys for coming in today. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I will get you some final photos. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you.